Hello, welcome back to my coverage of the Japanese Odyssey. If you've not seen them already, then there's a few videos about the event, which is a 1500 mile bikepacking event from the south of Japan to the north. Uh, and in this video, I'm just going to go through some of the bikes that people were using for the event. There's some pretty interesting stuff you don't necessarily see over here in Europe. Um, so without further ado, let's let's get into them. So this this is a pretty cool um, a pretty cool build. Um, so it's actually it's made of bamboo um, and the lugs are steel. And yeah, so I was, I was chatting to the guy and he, he makes them over in, in Japan. Um, so yeah, it's quite a cool concept. And the interesting thing is you can see here um, in the kind of on the top of the stays, there's actually uh, the, the rear end actually bolts on and off, so you can actually pack it up really compactly for for traveling and things like that. Uh, so yeah, that's that's a, a really interesting um, build, and it wasn't the only one that was there. There was also an, uh, another one, um, like a little kind of town bike. Um, again, the rear end bolts on and off, um, so really compact. You could take that on the train nice and easily um, with a nice little wicker basket on the front. Uh, obviously, this didn't get used for the event, um, but it was it was there at the start, um, and yeah, I found it quite quite interesting. So I just thought I'd I'd include that. Um, in the coverage. Um, this is a cool little build again, a Massey. Don't see many of those, um, uh, well, certainly in the UK. Um, but yeah, I thought it looked really cool with a nice sort of camo frame pack there, custom made fit over the bottles. And uh, yeah, what tires is he running? Can't quite see, pan races are they, I think. Um, quite, quite fat, slicks. And um, yeah, another nice sort of thing to note, a good thing to do with your aero bars. These are the easy grips, which uh, if you can see at the top here, um, they're like a foam grip used for mountain bikes so that you just slide them on but they make really good grips for aero bars uh, so he's got the easy grips on there um, and light mounted on the end of the bar there so he's got quite a lot of stuff kind of in the bar so yeah light on the outside there um, but yeah i thought that looked really cool um, so i thought i'd, I'd add it in um, the next one and well well firstly apologies for the non-drive size drive side photo i know it's a bit of a bit of a faux pas but it's a cool bike um singular are a british brand um i think it's a peregrine um the model um not 100 percent, but just correct me uh, in the comments if i'm if i'm wrong or you know um so yeah singular um based in the uk actually i know samu who runs the company they've been going for years and years um cool cool bikes um and this one looks pretty cool. Again, running the kind of, um, I think the Terravel tires on there. Um, there were some gravel sections on this event. It was predominantly road. Um, if you'd seen my other videos, you'll, you'll kind of, you'll see what I mean. Um, but yeah, I opted for like a, quite a fast slick tire with a bit of tread on the edge, uh, just for those gravel sections. Would have come in useful. Um, to be honest, you probably could have got away with, with a slick if you were um, confident off-road. A, a lot of people did ride them. Um, but yeah, also good to, to have that extra bit of confidence. Um, again, another custom frame bag there um, and the dangle mug. Not everyone's cup of tea, <laughs> but there's a dangle mug there. And also good use of the vol straps, shoes on the forks. Um, I guess I'd say fairly fairly um, solid because of the rubber on the on the sole of the shoe would just grip, grip the frame quite well. So yeah, that is another nice little build. Um, and then this next one, um, this wasn't actually used for the event itself, but it was uh, belonged to one of the, the, the photographers who was covering the event. And I've got a very soft spot uh, for independent fabrications. Um, this is a really nice steel road bike. Um, it was that 11 speed Ultegra on there, got the Brooks Cambion saddle. Um, but yeah, Indy Fabs, I just love them. Um, I'd, I'd love to, to own one of the, the 29 inch mountain bikes if I can ever find one in my size. Um, it was always the, the bike I dreamed about not that long ago. Um, I've, I've actually ridden one as well, um, a nice Thai one and yeah, beautiful bikes, really cool. Um, and I guess probably probably fit into almost the retro category now, seen as independent fabrications. I, I, well, I'm pretty sure they, they're not making bikes anymore. Uh, certainly not under Indy, Indy Fab, uh, the Indy Fab label, I don't think. Um, so yeah, nice, nice little build. Um, and this next one, well, at first it's a very tall bike. Um, even makes my bike look quite, quite small. Um, I'm not actually quite, can't quite make out the brand. It's a nice tie frame. Um, got the Hunt uh, Super Dura Dyno wheels on there. Um, you know, some nice Pirelli tires with a reflective sidewall. Always good for these these kind of long events. Have that reflective and stuff. But the main reason I put this one in is if you look at the um, obviously quite a lot of capacity for bottles. So you've got two one liter bottles. But then look at the saddle pack. He's actually added on these, um, they're, they're kind of like, I think they're kind of like boa, 
bottle cage kind of clamps that just sit on the side of the bag there so he could carry extra extra water um not sure if it stayed on there or not i, I didn't get to to find out after the event uh, but i thought that was quite a little clever solution because you can just get any old bottle from a from a store and just kind of lock it to your bike um to carry that extra capacity as and when you need it. it might be useful for for some of those longer races in hot climates i'm thinking kind of tail end of tcr things like that we don't necessarily need loads of water capacity early on but you might do later um so yeah interesting little thing on there um this one actually this is belongs to one of the race organizers um i'm not again not sure of the 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 make but it's uh, i think it's made in france um handmade steel frame custom geometry um and it's so it fits in these these renners uh, I think these are the Antelope Hill 55 mil slick tires. I've used them on my my kind of touring bike. Really, I really rate them actually. Nice and comfortable. Um, so the frame had to be built uh, with with the rear clearance in mind. So it's custom frame. Got these really nice. Um, I think they're stainless mud guards on there. Again, super good for for keeping nice and dry and on a on a tour. Um, Aperture frame bags uh, or pack um, bike packing bags. Uh, and then a nice carbon saddle. I'm not sure if that's comfortable or not, but I, I guess um, it wouldn't work for me. But uh, everyone's different in you know what, what's comfortable. So yeah, saving a few grams there with a nice carbon saddle. Um, so yeah, pretty cool bike. Um, this next one. Um, so the guy actually he was riding. Um, he he builds these frames himself under the Fury brand. Um, pretty cool white industry chain set on there. Uh, white industry hubs. Um, and actually the, the tires, these were from IRC, they're a Belgian Waffle Ride special edition, kind of like a diamond tread. Um, so again, that's, this is what he was decided to use to give him that sort of balance of speed on the tarmac and a little bit of grip off-road. Um, so yeah, it looks pretty cool. Titanium um, painted uh, top and yeah, got the, the Revelate luggage on there. Um, good stuff. I used to use it a long time ago. Um, so yeah, that, that's a nice, nice little build. And Another Thai bike here, Linsky, um, just uh, Linsky road bike, rim brake, uh, Percenti rims. Um, it's a pretty standard road setup, to be honest, with the bike packing bags on there. But you know, it's a it's a nice bike. Just goes to show you don't need like a specific bike packing bike to to take part in these things. GP five thousand tires. I imagine they're probably twenty eight mils. Probably struggled to get much more in there. Um, but yeah, I mean, perfect to get in to, to do the job. And <clears throat> another one on here is um now this guy i stayed with him years ago uh in amman and he was doing the biking man amman event on a recumbent this is his latest one um it's actually pretty cool um so you've got got shram uh shram force group set on there so the force shifters so axis shifters you, you can't quite see the rear mech again i've committed the ultimate crime of doing a non-drive side photo so um so it's force um cassette on there with a power meter chain set um, and then I, I really like the, like the use of the, the tail fin bags. So the top tube bags here and the panniers, um, they just sit really nicely on that bike. So it's, it's pretty cool. I'm not, not quite sure how he got on in the event. Well, I think he did finish, but I, I'm not quite sure how he got on, on those steep climbs. Um, and I think the gravel was a bit of a problem. You just don't quite have the same stability as a, an upright bike. Um, but I know he's also got a Mason Boker. So he's kind of, he picks and chooses um, his bikes depending on events. But yeah, quite, quite a cool little build and finally i'm just going to finish up um if you've seen the coverage already this you'll know that about this bike this is the bike i used the new mason definition um the third iteration of uh of the bike um i've been lucky enough to ride this since since the start of mason and the v1 um so yeah there's a full video on the channel with with a detailed bike check um but in summary uh, force axis group set uh hunt 44 aerodyn aerodynamics wheels um the bonjon pass tires from Renners and some fancy custom luggage from Tailfin. Um, so yeah, that's what I used and uh, yeah, worked pretty, pretty well for me. Uh, so that's it for this video and the Japanese coverage. Uh, thanks for watching and um, yeah, see you again in the next one.